come join me and Sarah Jenka, one of my Tahali neighbors. She has a nutrition company called Wild by Nature and I can't wait to learn about it. Okay. Hi Sarah, thanks for taking a little walk with me today. Hi, thanks for having me. Well, I'm so happy to um, have some time with you to learn a little bit more about your Tahali based business. And um, you've been living here in Tahali for how long? We have been here for, it'll be three years on Thanksgiving. Oh gosh. And um, you said you have children, right? I have one daughter. Okay. Yep, she's five. Oh, how was Halloween for you guys? It was fun. <laughs> I mean, it was a little different this year, um, but it was really fun. Yeah, I bet a lot of people are feeling kind of hungover from candy this morning, which is a great time to be interviewing you. Yeah. So you have a wellness and nutrition company, and the name is? Wild by Nature Nutrition. Oh, yeah. Her, her, follow her on Instagram. Her Instagram is gorgeous. Oh, thank you. And so tell me a little bit about kind of what made you decide to take this course, this path. So I've been in the physical therapy world for almost 10 years. I'm a physical therapy assistant. Um, and I just, a common factor I kept seeing with a lot of my patients with you know, ongoing pain and inflammation was mm -hmm. the lack of good nutrition in their diet or you know, their diet causing inflammation throughout the body. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it was just something that I saw time and time again and I've always been really interested in science and how how things work and why they work the way they do and so that just naturally led me down through nutrition. Hi guys! <laughs> Good morning! Um, so yeah, about two years ago I looked into the program and I just finished last February. Oh gosh, that's so great. Yeah. And so now you have your Tahali based business here, mm -hmm. which is a benefit of, of living here. A lot of people have their home based businesses. And um, so, and then personally, too, you were having some physical issues that you thought, huh, let me, let me research, let me look inside, you know, for the answers, really. Exactly, yeah. There was. You know, a lot of things that people are dealing with, I was feeling the same thing. So, you know, digestive issues, chronic headaches, fatigue, um, not having a great immune system. Yeah. Those were things that I've been dealing with on and off my whole life. And then on top of that, just joint pain and inflammation all the time. So the things I was getting from my doctors just wasn't working. And so I, wanted to seek out a different path and see if something else would make a difference and nutrition has really been the key for me and it's been really fun to see how it helps my clients also yeah so what did you find like for yourself or some of your intolerances uh so i found that i'm very sensitive to gluten which a mm -hmm. lot of people are um not allergic but sensitive mm -hmm. um Dairy was a big one for me and my husband too, unfortunately. <laughs> so sad. Love our ice cream, but I know. Um, finding out these things and knowing what our triggers are has yeah. really helped us navigate, you know, how to not just wake up feeling awful every day. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know, and and you you and you know, you can you can tell after you eat something, your stomach just doesn't feel right. You feel bloated and exactly just no energy and so i think it's really especially these times we really need to do everything we can to strengthen our immune system exactly yeah and to look inside ourselves um for the answers i mean you know i mean i'm not saying not to go to your doctor but you know you can only take so many anti-inflammatories right know? i think as a society we tend to chase down the symptoms of what we're feeling so you have a headache there's a prescription for that. Yeah. You have heartburn. There's a prescription for that. And I think there's got to be a better approach of figuring out what's causing these symptoms and addressing that issue. Yeah. And a lot of that can come from your body not being able to digest your food properly. Absolutely. So it's not yeah. the nutrients and it's not being able to extract those vitamins and minerals that your body needs mm -hmm. from the food. Yeah, that is so true. Um, 
Oh, so what are, what is, is gluten pretty much the number one thing that you see that people are having intolerance for? Or? Gluten is a big one. Um, and it's mostly because a lot of our food is so processed. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, some people might be okay with gluten in its minimally processed form, but once you add in preservatives and chemicals yeah. and everything else we're seeing, it makes it really hard on your system. Um, sugar is a huge one. I mean, it's in everything these days. So trying to just eliminate some of those ingredients. Um, dairy is a big one. Uh -huh. Most people don't tolerate dairy, although we all so want sad. to. <laughs> I just bought a big thing of eggnog the other day. <laughs> I love eggnog. I do too, and I put it in my sweet potatoes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I know. It but I could that tell, like, amazing. after I had it, I mean, I, like, literally only had, like, maybe, you know, four ounces or something, and I was like, oh my god, you know. Mm -hmm. I, and then I kind of felt headachy the next day when I woke up, you know, and I'm like, it's like sugar and, you know, dairy, really bad combination. <laughs> <laughs> right yeah and they usually go together yeah <laughs> and we're not i mean we try and avoid the foods we know make us feel bad but we have a five-year-old daughter and we want her to experience everything yeah and, you know it's all in moderation that's and true Absolutely. enjoying your life while still taking the steps you need to live a healthier one yeah and so if somebody wants to come and get a consultation, tell me about the services you offer. Absolutely, yeah. So I offer a few different levels of services based on what people need. Um, if they just want, you know, a brief overview of what they're eating and how they can improve that, I can just do a really quick consultation with that. Or I have services that, you know, are ongoing for mm -hmm. months at a time and people need that help and support throughout that too. Yeah, yeah. So people come, um, I'll have them fill out my questionnaires and we'll sit down and we'll talk about what their health goals are, what they're hoping to get out of working with me and then moving forward, it's all individual and based on, you know, what their needs and what their goals down the road are. So yeah. it's all very mm -hmm. individualized to everyone. Well, that's great. Well, I'm definitely going to come see you because yeah, you I should. really, I know I have so many, and I know what they are, but I think I need somebody else that's kind of telling me, yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's hard to just get started on that path on your own. It sometimes. is. You do, and because you want to have somebody that can tell you options too, mm -hmm. you know, so I'm sure that, you know, you have lots of good options for us other ideas. than continuing <laughs> to poison ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Sarah. And it was so nice meeting you. And Thanks I'm gonna, for having me. Oh, you're so welcome. And I'm going to put your link at the bottom here. So please reach out to Sarah and let's stay healthy. Take care. Bye, guys. <laughs> what a great walk and talk with Sarah Dinka today. And the mountains out here in Tahali. It doesn't get any better than this. And if you would like to, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's really important for us to